Hello world, in this video we're going to be talking about a new topic known as cardinality. At least I believe that's how it's pronounced, but if it's not, don't, don't judge me. Alright, so I'll write that out for you. And we actually talked about this a little bit, but we haven't really designed it or anything because now we're talking about actually drawing out databases. Cardinality is basically the relationship type between a row of one table and rows or a row of another table. So I thought of a, uh, the, the best example I have for this is a credit card database. So like basically a credit card company has a table for credit cards and then a table for card holders or the people who uh, order the credit cards and use them to buy things and basically they're cut the credit card company's customers, I guess. So I will draw those tables out just for so you can see this. I'm not going to draw them real big or anything, but just so you see how the connection works. So we have the card holder and then over here we have the card. And there's some kind of relationship between here, between these two tables. Now, the only two possibilities for cardinality are one or many. Obviously for both sides. So you can have one to many, one to many, or many to many. Those are the only three possibilities. Now, another thing to think about when it comes to many to many, that might even you might even consider that as not a possibility because you'd have to have an intermediary table, which we talked about that when we talked about designing many to many relationships. When when we're talking about many to many relationships here, it's logical, which which uh, what I mean by that is we're we're drawing it as a just like this, and we would say many uh, to many and then when we actually implement that in a database we would have to have a card holder uh, card holding table and then the cards table that would be how to draw a many to many relationship so hopefully that kind of makes sense uh, for that so in reality when you're actually drawing out finalized products of databases, the only possibilities are one to many or one to many. Because even if you have an intermediary table, this is going to be a one to many relationship and then a one to many relationship. And there's a certain way to draw those out. That's what I'm going to be uh, drawing right now. So a one to many, it's pretty simple. The one side, all you have is a straight up and down line like this. The many side, you have this. This uh, thing that we're doing right now is known as crow's foot notation because it looks like crow's foot. I think that's why they call it that. I don't really know. But <laughs> this is a one. This is a many. So when we're drawing it, one, many. We could also have one to one, of course. So that's another possibility I forgot to mention one to one. Now before we start drawing it on both sides, I think it's easy just to think about one side. Like think of a card holder relationship to a card. We would have one card holder. Now that we have that side fi figured out, we got we just think about the card holder, then we can add in the card and we have many cards. So one card holder can have many cards. And that's how you would design the line between the tables. Like that. Now there's another thing we, we need to talk about known as uh, modality, which we'll talk about in the next video. But for this, we're just going to keep it simple. Just drawing these things here. But you might see also like circles. You might see a circle here, for example. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. So now you know how to draw a one-to-many relationship. So what does this exactly mean? That means one row can be connected with many rows in this table. It's not necessarily the table, but the rows within the table. So we could think of a specific card holder. We could have a card holder with the name Jack, an ID of two. And we could have 
many rows over here of cards, we could have a card with the ID of ID 6, ID 8, ID 12, and you can see this guy has a lot of credit cards. So all of these rows can be connected to an individual row within the card holder table. Now let's look at it the other way. We could have a many to one relationship, or basically a one to many going the other direction. So we could have this. So now one card can be connected to multiple people, but multiple people can't be connected to one card. I'm sorry. One card can be connected to multiple people, but one card holder can only be connected to one card. So that means one person cannot own more than one card. So now we think of it the other way around. We have a card uh, with the ID 3. We have a card with the ID 4, the ID of uh, 6. It doesn't really matter what the numbers are. And then we have a card holder. We just got, we got a guy named Jack, which ID is 3. And then we got Bill, ID of two. Well, we, have, we can have one card attached to many people. So this card could be attached to many people, which means these people co-own a card. They're both the owner of one card. But now you have to realize an individual card holder can't be connected to uh, multiple cards. So Jack cannot own another card. That's not going to work out. If you wanted that to work out, then you'd have to have the intermediary table, which we talked about in designing many-to-many -many relationships. And this, this video is less uh, to be a review of relationships, but more of how to draw them. So you have to realize the difference between all of these possibilities. One-to-one, one-to-many, uh, one or one-to-many. It just depends on the actual application. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry if that was, if I kept stuttering. This is the first time I made a video in a couple weeks, so you know, first started, I first started making videos and I, I like stutter and I can't get things together, but next video will be awesome. So yeah, catch you there.